What's up YouTube? So in this video you will learn how to download an Ubuntu theme for Windows 10. Um, keep in mind that in order to do this you need to first download a different program and I actually made a video about this how to download third-party themes for Windows 10 so if you want go to my channel and check that out uh, but in this video I won't really be going into detail about that. Um, so pretty much with this theme, by downloading it, you can pretty much disguise your Windows and make it look like Ubuntu without actually downloading Ubuntu. So, first of all, what you have to do is open up your browser. Click on the link in the description provided below. I already have one prepared. Now once you're in this site, um, by the way, I recommend the site for Windows themes uh, because it has a wide variety and they're pretty easy to download. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, um, by the way, shout out to the creator of this theme. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do is scroll down and here it says download free. Now once you're on the website, <coughs> scroll down. And uh, you can actually, if you want to support the creator, you can buy the theme. Uh, but for the sake of time purposes and whatnot, uh, I'm just going to download the free version real quick. Now one thing I dislike about this is that there's so many advertisements that you have to and pop-ups that you constantly have to be closing. Uh, it can be pretty tedious, I'll admit. Thankfully though, it's only 3.4 megabytes, so you don't have to wait too long to download. So I'll just drag it here to the desktop for ease of access. You can close this now. So once you have the file, you can extract it again. I'll extract it to desktop for ease of access. So now you should have a file and inside you should have the themes and files necessary. Okay, so in order to actually install this theme and put it in your PC, you should open up uh, your computer, my PC, go to Windows, uh, and then go to the resources folder and then themes. Now inside themes you can click this folder, open it up. Now this file you should put it you should put these files separately. Don't don't combine don't put this file inside this folder. Just put them separately. Now once you've put the files into the themes folder uh, you can actually just click on uh, the theme file uh, and it'll work uh, but if you want to try something else you can right click on desktop click personalize click themes and then theme settings and once you're here under installed themes you should see the theme you have installed so click on it And there we go, as you can see, it's starting to have a more, oh, well this is custom here, um, but it's starting to have uh, more of a look like uh, Ubuntu. Um, so now what you can do is you can right click on your taskbar and click uh, uncheck lock the taskbar. Now by unchecking this, what this means is that you can move it around um, and you can, you know, adjust the width of it. So, uh, just like in Ubuntu, uh, you'd probably want to put it on the top. Now my taskbar is uh, transparent. This is again because it's custom and uh, I already downloaded something for it. 
uh, to make it look like that, but um, you can go ahead and personalize again and click colors and you can set it to a grayish color. Um, wait, that might have, um, okay, never mind. Uh, so as you can see here at the top, it's different here on the sides. The icons have uh, been changed slightly. Um, and also, now this is, a, you can, if you want, you can adjust your icons like this on the side, just how Ubuntu has it, right? Um, but what I personally did is I uh, installed a dock. So this right here is called a dock, uh, and I will be making a video about it separately. Um, but this program is called Nexus, and uh, I'll provide you with a link in the description for this program. And, and I'll be making a tutorial how to download it and use it. Um, but in this case, uh, if you find out on your own, uh, you can go ahead and download this program, and you can go on uh, Position. And right here, you can click on Left, and then Apply. And right here, I think, you, yeah, you can drag it. You can drag it and you can make it look uh, more similar to Ubuntu. Um, I think you can also go to Appearance. Uh, there was something here. Or Themes, there you go, Themes. And if you go scroll here at the bottom and click on Windows 10 NX, and apply. Um, oh, I have it transparent, that's why. It gives it a different look <clears throat> once you apply it, kind of like this. So, you, I mean, you can mess around with this, of course. You can, um, you know, of course, you can mess around with this. You can uh, adjust it to your own liking. Um, but as you can see, now going from a Windows look, you have pretty much Windows 10 in disguise, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave a comment in the video. Um, please like, subscribe. Uh, it really helps. Uh, and yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. Hopefully you learned something new and yeah, thank you for watching.